company so devoted to flogging the same horse, Square Enix is surprisingly bad at creating true sequels to its most popular franchise. From the controversial Final Fantasy X-2 to the off-again, off-again compilation of Final Fantasy VII, its follow-up efforts have consistently failed to resonate with fans, and, in a few cases, barely qualify as competent games. Never one to shy away from a good marketing opportunity, though, and gets back on the mare again with Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. <laughs> Revenant Wings picks up not long after the ending to Final Fantasy XII. Shirtless Vaughn and Pinello, now true Sky Pirates, have their wings clipped when raiding the cache of Glabados, a mysterious treasure consisting of a handful of crystals. However, the god in the machine blesses them with a falling plot device, a mysterious derelict airship that crashes outside of Ravanastra, which, as luck would have it, responds to the crystal raided from Glabados and whisks the adventurers off to the long-hidden floating continent of the Merez. Naturally, the continent and its winged inhabitants are in trouble, and Vaughn, Pinello, and many more characters from the previous game try to help them out while making a little money on the side. The tale stands in stark contrast to the convoluted political epic Final Fantasy XII was supposed to be, but despite the sparse narrative, the characters aren't more fleshed out than they were in the original. Similar to the recent dud Heroes of Mana, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings is a real-time strategy game, albeit with a bit more basis in role-playing games. Yes, adding to the string of helpful coincidences, the crystal from Glavados commands summoning gates stationed around the Merez. Using the power of the crystals, called Aurasite, Vaughn and company can summon a variety of monsters to fight alongside them to defeat their foes. Fortunately, there's no building phase or resource harvesting, as it focuses more on a simple rock-paper-scissors scheme and proper unit management. Instead of moving up a tech tree within a single mission, you'll gradually unlock new monsters to add to your arsenal via the branching Ring of Packs and Aurasite earned from successful missions. Your heroes join the fray as well and fill out the requisite RPG elements. They'll level up and learn new abilities over time while gaining more powerful gear. <laughs> While the design sounds solid enough, in the end the game just isn't that compelling. The stylus interface is better than you might think, and there are plenty of optional missions to help pimp out your entourage, but the game never hits an engaging stride. There's just enough strategy to slow things down, but not enough to be truly satisfying, falling into the time-filling purgatory in between. While the lack of resource management prevents the slow build-up common in the genre, it also requires constant mid-battle summons to replenish your forces. Furthermore, whenever there's a pause in the battle, the AI is fond of using tried-and-true RTS auto-attack exploits to try and lure stray units to their doom, meaning you'll always need to keep an eye on your far too gullible units. Whether you're defeating all of the enemies or capturing all of their summoning gates, all of the objectives feel like gameplay for gameplay's sake. And watching your tiny units whittle away the HP of the occasional boss just isn't dramatic or challenging. None of it is particularly bad, nor is it particularly good, it's just there. Of course, no Square Enix game would be complete without stellar production values, and Revenant Wings mostly delivers on this front. Story highlights are punctuated by CG cutscenes, and the environments retain the majestic quality of the original game. But the characters have been simplified and flattened into cartoonish versions of themselves, no doubt to better appeal to the Nintendo DS's primary demographic. The juxtaposition of these two art styles is a bit off-putting, but there's no denying the game is a solid production. Music is surprisingly robust as well, featuring some of the more memorable tunes from the original Final Fantasy XII, mostly reused and occasionally remixed. The music is still solid though, and actually fits the strategic battles more than the automated hack and slashery of its forebear. Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings is a competent but awkward game, brimming with interesting ideas, but lacking the execution and gameplay to let it stand out for reasons other than its name and production values. With its choice of platform, genre, and demographic, it's not likely to appeal to either die-hard Final Fantasy freaks or role-playing fans in general. <laughs>